going on? Back again with another vlog. Uh, today what I want to talk about is, uh, if you've seen a couple of my other videos, you'll notice I've got a dog. And I've had a couple of comments, a couple of questions, people asking me how, uh, how I've got a dog and I'm in the army. So today I thought I'd talk about that and to try and answer a couple of them questions for people. Uh, anyone who's thinking of joining the army and they want a dog or they've got a dog and they don't know if they'll be allowed to keep a dog. I'll try and answer a couple of questions today. Okay, so I've got a dog, but fortunately I'm married, uh, so I live in the house. It's still military accommodation, but I live in a house and therefore I'm outside of camp and there's no problems with me having pets or dogs. However, before I got married, which wasn't too long ago, I, uh, I still had a dog and I was living in the block. So the answer to the question is, can you have the dog? Yes. But some units allow it, some units don't. So the unit I'm at at the minute, um, they do allow it. All I had to do was simply go get a form. Uh, to get the form, I had to show the relevant paperwork, as in the dog has to have his injections, um, insurance. If you've got that, you show that, you get it signed. And that was that. So from there then, I had to go to the QMs and I had to get his permission, uh, get him to sign the piece of paper. I then had to go to my line manager and he had to sign the paper to say that he was happy for me to have a dog on camp. And then where I live in the block, or where I lived in the block, I had to uh, speak to some of my neighbours who live next door to me and ask them if they would have any uh, would have any issues with me bringing a dog into the block to live. Um, and luckily, they was all happy, they was all dog lovers, and they was happy for me to have a dog in the block. So I've also got friends at other units though, which their chain of command does not allow dogs at all. Uh, some, some of them not even pets. So don't think that just because you've watched this video that you can go buy a dog and rock up to work on Monday. Um, I don't think it'll go down too well. Okay, so things you need to think about then before you get a dog and take it onto camp, into your accommodation. Uh, you know, it's not easy access for the garden. You're living in a, in a confined space. Um, the room's really small. You gotta think about that. You gotta think about how well trained is your dog? Is it is it toilet trained? because you don't want that mess in your room. I'm pretty sure your neighbours will get fed up with it really quick if the if the corridor's stinking. You also need to think about how long is the dog going to be in the room on its own? Uh, how long do you work every single day? How often can you come back, lay it out, take it for a walk, etc. These kind of things you got to think about. Also a big one is how often does your unit deploy? Uh, if you're always on exercise, um, is it fair to have a dog? Who's going to look after that dog? Yeah, so I know cases before where, where lads have thought it was a good idea to go and get a dog, had it for a little while, and then found themselves going on exercise. And for the first couple of times, yeah, sure, maybe your mum or family or your, your friends, someone else in the block will look after the dog. That's a big commitment to ask for all the time. Um, I've also known someone that, that thought they was going on exercise for a couple of days. And it turns out that they was on exercise for a couple of weeks and there was no one to look after the dog. Luckily, they managed to get someone in to go and look after him. But, you know, it's these kind of things you've got to think about. Okay, so in short, are you allowed uh, a dog whilst well, being in the army? If you're married, definitely yes, and, and you're living in a, in a pad, in an army quarter, definitely. If you're living in accommodation, you need to check with your unit, make sure that they allow it, get it cleared through the chain of command. 
You also need to check with your neighbours who you live with in the block, make sure that they're going to be happy with it. You don't want people complaining, etc. Make sure you think about how often you're going to be away, how often you're going to deploy on exercises, go on courses, uh, do other duties such as guard, for example. Uh, think about when you are away on those things. Who's going to look after the dog? Make sure you've got someone to help you out. You need to make sure you've got insurance and the dog's had his injections and all healthcare is up to date. But for me, the most important one is making sure that it's fair on the dog. You need to ask yourself that. Is it fair on the dog living in a small room, um, not much of a garden or no easy access to a garden? Spending hours on its own whilst you're at work doing whatever. But if you think the answer is yes and you can make it work, your unit allows dogs on the camp and in the accommodation. You've got it cleared through the chain of command. All the other things that we spoke about, then you should have no problems having a dog whilst in the army. Okay, so if this video helped you out in any way, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, subscribe. Uh, if you've got any questions on anything else, uh, anything at all, anything that's bothering you, anything you're wondering, if you're joining the army, what if this, what if that, um, then yeah, drop them questions in the comments uh, and I'll, I'll either answer you or I can do a video on it and answer you through a video. But yeah, catch you again soon.